Hey guys, so it's going to be a quick little explanation on what the second check-in <coughs> is going to be about, which is on Pearl Harbor. Uh, the reason I'm just making the video is because either you were absent or because I was not here for periods four, five, and six. So the thing is, we're having an issue with the links that are on my website. So that's why I created a Google Doc where I sent you basically all the links and I sent it to you guys on Remind and I also emailed it to you this morning. So here you're going to see the, the link to the Carver Hall website and if you click on it, it will go there. I don't know why the previous links aren't working, but this one will. I also set up a link for the example website, so you click on it, it opens up the example website. I also put the instructions, the explanation of the instructions, and then here is the video on how to modify everything. So these are the videos you're going to need, so just make sure you have that Google Doc. So we're going to go to our sample website, and then I'm going to bring up the instructions. So here are the instructions I gave you, so I'm going to put these on half screen and then the example one on the other side. So your next check-in is the Pearl Harbor tab. So the first check-in was the general instructions and the home page. Um, the, as I was grading them earlier in the morning, there's some of you who forgot to put things like your name and period or they, you didn't put a creative title for the entire website. So you could go back um, and add it on because I will be grading it at the end and looking for those things. So today will be the Pearl Harbor tab. So use World War II Notes 5 textbook and any outside resources to get in these paragraphs. So Notes number 5 is the one that we will begin in class today. Um, so you're going to T4 and uh, Section 5, which is Section 1, I'm sorry, of Notes number 5. So why did the Japanese attack? You guys are going to T4 all of this. Um, and then get started on 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to go through this uh, for three days, and you should have every information you need in order for you to write the information that you need for the paragraphs on here. So back to the instructions. So the instructions tell you that you are to, to add a creative title to your Pearl Harbor tab. So we're going to go to Pearl Harbor so you can see what it's supposed to look like, and at the top you're going to put a creative title of your Pearl Harbor tab. You know, devastation on December 7th. Uh, why did they attack? Unprovoked attack. All these different things that you could do. Um, and then the next one, you're going to add three minimum paragraphs that discusses what the major changes. Will, no, I'm sorry, the wrong one. Three paragraphs discussing who, what, when, where, why of the Pearl Harbor attack. So if you look at number five, this is where you're going to get everything from. You got to turn your three paragraphs, like section one for paragraph should be why the Japanese attacked, taking this information here. The next one is on the actual attack, what did it look like? That's your second paragraph. And then your third paragraph is uh, three and four put together. So again, when you are writing your paragraphs, your first paragraph should be about why they attacked. The second paragraph should be what did the attack look like? And the three should be, uh, the third paragraph would be the five step plan plus the attack. So that's paragraph three. So that's what it's asking you when um, it says that it wants three paragraphs. You're going to put three images. So look, we have one paragraph there, two paragraphs, three paragraphs. And then we have one image, two images, three images. <clears throat> Last thing it's going to ask you is for a mandatory video. Choose a topic from the notes, that, like the material that you wrote on the paragraphs, and choose and put a video. Now, to be very clear, the video should be four to seven minutes, and it should be embedded. So if you click on it here, as soon as you click on it, it should start playing because you're embedded. So what if you don't remember how to put in a video? That's right, you're supposed to go back to the website. So go here, click on the website, and then when you go to the website project here, when you scroll down, right here is the key to the video, and as you can see, how to, um, how to add a video is at the 920 mark, so you hit play, and then you just go to the 920 Hello, mark. This is going to be a video to show you how to modify your website. At this point, add is videos. See? So this is going to be your YouTube videos. All right, so right there, I start, start talking it, and I show you how to do it. All right, so to make sure that everybody's clear, you, what you're supposed to have is the three paragraphs. Let me see, where's my sample website again? You're supposed to have an embedded video three paragraphs about notes number five and three images. This is due next week on Wednesday. All right. If you have any questions, please send me a remind or come see me before or after school. Thank you.